out of the decision to add a military response to the Ebola threat in the U.S. as the debate intensifies over some drastic measures being proposed, all in the context of the impending midterm elections. NBC's Kristen Welker has that part of the story. The Obama administration hoping to avoid more scenes like this one today announced the military is preparing a 30-person team of nurses, doctors, and infectious disease experts who could be dispatched on short notice in the U.S. But Republicans and some Democrats continue to insist the president hasn't done enough and should impose a ban on travel from the affected countries. The biggest mistake that continues to be made is we continue to allow open commercial air flights. The Obama administration countered a travel ban would only make matters worse. The fact is it would be very, very difficult if you lost control of easily tracking people. With public fear spreading faster than the disease itself, some Republican candidates eyeing wins in the upcoming midterm elections are stoking public fears. Every uh, outbreak novel or zombie movie you see st starts with somebody from the government sitting in front of a panel like this saying there's nothing to worry about. On Meet the Press today, Republican Senator Roy Blunt acknowledged some of his party's rhetoric has been over the top, but said the president also shares the blame. Now, uh, this uh, health concern is more, is more real than it would be if there wasn't a sense that the government is just not being managed in a way that people would want it to be managed. The president has admitted there have been mistakes, and on Friday appointed Washington insider Ron Klain to coordinate the government's response. He also canceled two campaign trips this past week to deal with the issue, but was back on the trail today for Maryland's Democratic gubernatorial candidate, where he brushed aside the criticism. The only plan they've got right now is to try to make you so afraid, so discouraged, to tell you, to remind you everything that, that's not working right. That's their plan, is to just make people feel like government can't work. Still, Ebola could be one more challenge as Democrats fight to keep the Senate. It's more front page hysteria. A sense that things are not going well in the country, maybe that the president isn't in charge. That's a bad environment for Democrats running. Claim that point person has begun meetings at the White House and officially starts this week. Meantime, that 30-person medical support team will start training in about a week. The administration stressing there are no plans for them to be dispatched overseas. Get the article with the hashtag Stop Ebola Strike. Send it out on Facebook, out on Twitter. Send our article with the videos of the general warning and others so that people understand we don't have to be powerless and just watch the federal government engage in criminal neglect by design. We can A, put pressure on them to take action, but B, if this pandemic gets out of control and becomes you know, even worse, if this epidemic grows into a pandemic, then the people involved can be held accountable. But also it can be used as practice for sheltering in place and for self-quarantining if this gets out of hand. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, if you're not essential folks or people like myself that have got to be on air, self-quarantine is a test. We'll call it a national strike. Call talk radio, call Congress, call the White House, call media, send out tweets. Be an activist Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to fight Ebola and to stop Ebola with the Stop Ebola National Strike. We can stop it. There is a solution. There is a way to bring it down. There is a way to make them put the default actions in and there may still be time to stop it before it spreads to thousands or even hundreds of thousands or more and the whole homeland security apparatus has the pretext it needs for total federalization ladies and gentlemen we've been warning of a biological false flag this is clearly that i don't know if they cooked it up in a lab even though they have a history of doing that i don't know that i know that they've certainly let it in and are now doing everything they can to help it spread so the ball is in your court Send this to friends and family, your email list, Twitter, Facebook, other talk show hosts. Get them to cover it. Organize and be part of this strike, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we can draw attention to this and stop it. I'm Alex Jones signing off.